Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. This is going to be one of their true intentions in love. And this is a reading between you and your person, right? And uh, between you and whoever you have a connection with. And from the charms, I've already pulled uh, a charm and two cards here because I was interrupted. How dare they? And we have the Eye of Horus. And Horus was, uh, is an Egyptian... Uh, culture or folklore but I feel like this is uh, this is part of the description here that the eye of Horus was really the Egyptian sky god who was usually depicted uh, as a bird and his right eye was associated with the sun god so uh, uh, kind of you know cut to the chase here the the eye of Horus can talk about protection it's an Egyptian symbol royal power and good health so you could be protected, uh, Capricorn, uh, in, in, in short, okay, kind of went on about that. And there is always enough here with this Oracle card from the Koi Fish Spirit. And if you have it accompanying the Eye of Horus, don't worry, a Capricorn, everything will be abundant and will be okay. But take heed and learn from the past with the Elephant Spirit. Right now the energy you're in, uh, Capricorn, is going to be the Five of Cups, wow. You could be leaving a situation, you could be regretting something, or maybe just sad. But it's typically a sad ending, the Five of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and you have this card here, and this is the Devil, and that is you most likely mm -hmm, showing up. Maybe you're in the Devil energy, though. We'll have a look, we'll find out. Knight of Swords for your person. Crossing them as the King of Pentacles, and that is you. I feel like that's you, Capricorn, the Two of Pentacles showing up for them. And now they have the Nine of Wands. So your person looks like the Wounded Warrior. And you like you look like you're leaving here because there's a third party, or just something like that. So let's see uh, why you're in the Five of Cups energy. Yeah, let's see why Capricorn is there. Or Capricorn crossing you is going to be the magician in the reverse. I feel like you're dealing with an Aries Capricorn. I feel like you are a lot of the time. Uh, yeah, so let's see. Let's get another card on that. I can talk about a sad ending because of a trickster. It doesn't have to be an, an Aries. The Six of Pentacles. I feel like this is third party energy. Mm -hmm. I feel like somebody's giving to two people here and you're kind of suffering a sad ending because of it or like grieving on some level. Three of Pentacles in the Chariot card. Yeah, it could be a third party with a Cancerian. Because of the Chariot card, Six of Cups, Capricorn. Somebody from the past is here. And so far we have the Knight of Wands and the card of Aries in terms of signs. So this could simply be, uh, and of course, uh, a Cancerian here with the Chariot card. But there's somebody from the past here, and this has to do with a third party for sure. There's, I feel like, uh, I feel like there's no doubt here because of this Five of Cups and the Devil card over here. Let's make sure though. Let's let's continue with the reading. Uh, but there is some type of a lesson learned here, learned from the past, and now we have the Death card. So, wow, I feel like there's either some type of an ending here. Yeah, Five of Cups, I was saying that over here. There's some type of an ending here and a third party and some type of grieving. Yeah, so over here, uh, the root, I'm going to put the death card over here because I feel like they're all, they're all kind of close here. And why it's all happening is because of an ending and a knight of wands and the seven of swords or sneaky energy here I feel like you you walked away from somebody this is your current energy though yeah this is your current energy I feel like you feel sad about some type of an ending because of a third party and it is involving somebody from your past here This death card, I'm, gonna, I'm just trying to, I'm, honestly, it is kind of uh, lending lending uh, insight to both sides here. Some type of an ending that you suffered, I feel like, with, yeah, with 
with somebody here and the devil card this is what you want let's have a look here you want the four of swords this can talk about healing can talk about recovery five of pentacles so you want somebody you want to leave something I feel like you want to heal a situation with somebody and you want someone to leave somebody out or you are just leaving this person out you could be leaving somebody out as we speak Let's look and see your person's energy. They have the Knight of Swords and the Nine of Cups. Your person wants to come in real fast here and have a wish they've had their mind on. I think this is you, Capricorn, the King of Pentacles. I mean, I'm sure it is. I was kind of saying that uh, kind of, uh, yeah, I mean, this is clear. This is who that they want, or they are the King of Pentacles too. So they could be an earth sign too, but I feel like it is you who is their Nine of Cups, Ace of Pentacles reversed. This is crossing them. And the Two of Pentacles is the root for them. I feel like they are uh, deciding between two people, or they are going back and forth about whether or not they're going to hold on to you, the Four of Pentacles. I feel like you are somebody that they really want. They could be charging in to get you right now. And they could have been thinking about it for a while, two of pentacles back and forth, the four of pentacles to hold on to you and leave someone else, the six of swords. That's what this is. These readings, uh, it looks like it is related to, connected to the Pisces reading, the Virgo, and the Sagittarius reading. <laughs> they look like they're all connected. So let's see here, the Nine of Wands showing up, and maybe it's Aries as well, but it looks like a fire sign, an earth sign, and a water sign involved here. Uh, and for some of you guys, there could be an air sign as well. We shall see, only because the Knight of Swords is here. I haven't seen that much air energy in the reading yet. But let's see here. We have the six and the five now. And this is in the, your person's why it's all happening. They're the wounded warrior. They're kind of guarded about what's going to happen next or maybe uh, what they should do. And they could be exhausted. I feel like they are trying to protect themselves on some level over here. The man is, you know, he's worried here. He's uh, trying to protect his... A uh, little land right here, yeah, and he is because he is, uh, he has nine, eight wands in front of him, and he is holding up one wand, and he is not at ease here. I feel like he's ready to protect himself. Mm -hmm. So this is what your person wants. It's showing up with the five of swords. They want sabotage, but they are. And the Sun card's in the reverse. Could be a Leo here. I feel like your person wants some major clarity on, on what they should be doing here. But I do think that this Sun card could be saying they just want to be happy with you. Because for me, the Nine of Cups, the wish come true, it is right here. This lady here. And right next to it is the King of Pentacles. This is your person's energy. I feel like they just want to come in and have a new beginning with you. I feel like they've been thinking about it a long time, whether or not they're going to hold on to you and leave somebody else. I feel like the sun card in the reverse is the happiness that they want, but it's like eluding them. Yeah, because they're with somebody else. And I feel like in this reading, I just feel like they want to come for you. Like, basta, that's enough. I want to go get... Capricorn. Yeah, I just want to go get Capricorn and be together. And this is somebody from your past. Let's get one more card on the Sun card. Why would they want the Sun card? And the King of Swords. I feel like your person wants clarity here, like the utmost clarity on this situation. I feel like they could be a little bit concerned there's not going to be enough. Like if they leave, maybe money. The possibility because their influence is the two of pentacles and the four of pentacles so 
So we're going to go over to Vimeo uh, Capricorn and find out all about your person here. We're going to call them out. I want to see what's up over there as well. We're going to see how they feel about you and also the block between, like the major block between you both and the underlying energies. I want to see that and what they could be hiding or what is simply unknown about them, Capricorn, fearing and their true intentions, all on Vimeo. They're all super affordable. They always are if you guys want to cross watch them. And also, if you need your own reading, it's always the best way, hands down, right? Because these are still generals. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And wishing you guys a ton of power and light.